Hi guys, welcome back to sixth part of the FAP build series. In my previous videos, apart from the pedals and the steering wheel, we have also made paddle shifters and a detachable gaming rig. If you have not come across those videos, I'll provide the complete playlist link in the description box. In today's video, I'll be showing how you can make your own analog handbrake. And at the end, I'll be also mounting this same on my gaming rig. Starting with the hardware work, in order to make our handbrake design better, I've taken a standard drifting handbrake image on a computer screen. In this way, I'll just trace it out on a paper. I'll make the same shapes on this flat wooden pieces. I have already drilled some holes and using small nut and bolts, I'll join both of these pieces together. And this is how our handbrake lever looks. To make outer base for the handbrake, I'll be using this flat wooden block and making two pieces out of it of dimensions 20 cross 10 centimeters. This is how we have to place the lever inside. I am using 8mm bolt and nut at the bottom left corner to mount the lever. So this will help in the to and fro moment. Next, I will be making use of this pull spring. And the tension of the spring depends on your requirement. One end of the spring is to be connected to the handbrake lever at the mid position. The other end I will be mounting it on the top right corner using 8mm bolt and nut. This is how you should get proper spring movement after mounting all of these components. To limit the extra backward movement of the lever, I'll add one more bolt and nut at this place. 
in order to detect the liver movement i am using this b10k potentiometer specifically having metallic shaft To improve the rotational movement of the potentiometer, I will be using this small wooden piece and this goes directly onto the potentiometer shaft. Using a thin iron rod, I have made this L structure which helps to connect the potentiometer shaft with the handbrake lever. And this is how the final mechanism works. From potentiometer terminals, I have soldered three wires and it's connected to a 3 pin connector. This is just to make all components of my gaming rig plug and play. Using one more wooden block, I'll just close the other side. After some paint work, this is how the analog handbrake looks finally. Also don't forget to comment below how this handbrake is looking. Now it's time to mount our DIY handbrake on our gaming rig. I have already assembled it and there it is. To mount the handbrake, I don't have to use any extra bolts. Since the bolts already used here are lengthier enough. On the side panel as well, I have drilled two holes of 8mm. And this way, I can easily insert the handbrake. We have completed all the hardware work. Coming to the software and the connections, in this particular part 3 video from the FFB playlist, I have already shown how you can use the EMC Utility Lite firmware on Audio Leonardo. Along with that, we have seen the connections for steering and the pedals. For this handbrake, there is no additional changes required in the software. In the circuit, we have to just connect 
one more potentiometer. So if you consider this is the schematics of the EMC, there are already three potentiometers connected for pedals. In the similar way, the VCC and ground of this fourth potentiometer will be connected in common with other potentiometers. And the signal pin goes to Arduino analog pin A3. For easy understanding, you can also refer to this circuit diagram. As per the circuit diagram I have shown, I am connecting my handbrake to the main Arduino controller. I have opened the EMC light interface. This is the steering. And if you go to pedals option, accelerator brake, I was using already from previous videos. So now I'll just enable this handbrake option. Just set min and max values and your handbrake starts working. This is all about the DIY analog handbrake. All the related source links will be provided in the description box. If you want to give a try and face any difficulties, let me know in the comment section below. In the coming videos, we'll be also making a head shifter and a speedometer. Stay tuned for further interesting videos. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in the next one.